in this video tutorial today we are going to discuss a very important topic how to get the purchase order report in sap if we know the cost center or the generalizer account okay basically the cost center and the generalizer account is a part of account assignment account assignment tab in the purchase order okay so how can you do this uh, you have to execute the transaction code me to n okay me to n you need to execute the transaction code me to n and uh, you have to fill the date criteria uh, means from which date to which date you want to get the data of the cost center wise POR GL wise purchase order plan code is 3002 scope of list is ALV okay I'm just going to execute this transaction code ME2N ME2K I repeat it again ME2K okay M E 2 K. I repeat again that the transaction code is M E 2 K. Okay. And here you need to uh, choose the scope of list to ALV for better understanding of the report. Okay. And the plant is 3002. Okay. And in the document date, first. January 2022 7 September 2021 okay you have a lot of option like you can fill the vendor code session here okay and uh, material group material supplying plant okay and uh, if you know the asset ID WBS element order assets okay and you need to go in the dynamic selection Okay. As system will giving this message, please enter at least one account assignment object. Okay. So here I am filling the initial range of the call center. Initial first four digit are the plan code and 001 is a suffix of the call center. Okay. I am going in the dynamic selection click on this account assignment in the purchasing document okay here you need to fill all the account assignment document purchasing documents and the GL account you can fill the GL account here okay business area cost center click on this cost center okay and go in the multiple selection select the range and uh, 322 0012 Three double two two triple nine. I've just taken the maximum possible range of the cost center for this uh, plant. Okay, and click on the execute. If you have a uh, range, if you have uh, certain cost centers, then you can fill here. If you if you don't know then and you know the range, then you can fill here. Okay. If you want to upload the data from the Excel, then you can upload from here, upload from the clipboard. I have filled the range, okay, lower limit to upper limit, click on copy options, okay. What I have filled, I have filled the cost center, okay. And if you want to fill the GL account, then you can update the GL account here, okay. But uh, I will show in the list, GL account is directly uh, showing in the your cost center wise purchase uh, document list, okay. But if you want to fill the GL account, then you, you can fill here, okay. You will get the data as per the GL account, okay. I have filled the account assignment, scope of list is LV, plant is 3002 and document date is this, okay. I am just going to execute. These are the purchase, purchasing document for the call center here, okay, and uh, this is the purchase document, okay, this is the ZL account, this is the plant, 
this is the core center okay all the core center is there wbs element maintenance order if you mean maintenance order then you purchasing organization need based order okay and uh, this is the vendor name okay this is the purchase document date value industry type okay business area profit center fund center and all you will see all these detail okay see this is the zl account you can see this is the zl account detail and these are the various cost center okay hope you apply the filter for this okay for example i am just going to apply the filter on the gl account then you can go and select you can select this column click on the set filter 5020812 if i just want to the purchase order data for this gl only then i am clicking on this the purchase order of purchase order of this gl only will be showing here okay so hope you uh, like this uh, method to get the data of the purchase order in sap account assignment wise on the basis of cost center or on the basis of the gl account okay so thanks for watching this and please share this knowledge with friends and colleagues and if you are new on my youtube channel the rpsap team please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for my latest video updates okay thank you for watching i repeating again okay what i have done i have done uh, the core center wise data here okay scope of list is alv okay plant is 3002 and document date is 1st january 2022 7 september 2020 okay go in the dynamic selection go in the account assignment in the purchasing documents go in the M E two K okay. I'm repeating this process so you can understand this in very good way. You can choose your own date range. It's your choice, only your choice, okay. Fill one cost center only, okay. Go in the dynamic selection go in the account assignment category here you go in the cost center you have cost center wise option you have gl wise option you can choose the gl wise i am choosing cost center okay go in the states select the range range i am choosing from initial range to final range okay click on the copy and going to execute okay so the list which is showing here is this okay hope you like this video